Hey, morning guys, it's Nigel Dix, ATM entrepreneur, um, 23 year veteran to the business, offline to online, um, mentor and coach. So today's video, oh, lost me thought, what was my video today? It was um, where not to put an ATM machine or where to put an ATM machine. So really, where shouldn't I put an ATM machine? Well, if you're going to own an ATM and you're an investor and you want to put an ATM out there, there are places you do absolutely do not want to put an ATM machine. For example, when you're looking to locate an ATM machine, go inside the liquor store and look at the shelves. If the um, shelves are empty, that means the owner there is broke with a possibility of going out of business. It's also possible that, well it's not possible, but if there's nothing on the shelves, people are not going to come in. I'm going to give you an example. I had a location called Warner's Corner in Huntington Beach. They had the largest lottery winner of all time in Huntington Beach. And people frequented that store. And the owner was a good friend of mine. And he kept that store running well. He kept, the food, he kept it stocked, he kept the prices reasonable. I mean, that ATM made me around $2,000 a month. Now, he sold that store, and Mr. Sun took over it, another, another gentleman of Korean descent, I believe. And the first thing he did was said, well, if all these customers are coming in, I'm gonna raise the fee and I'm gonna make more money. Quickly, he ran the business down so far, the shelves became empty, the ATM went down from about 1, 1,500 transactions. It went down to under 50 transactions a month. And he quickly went out of business and lost everything. They threw him out. Um, so look at the store shelves. But not only that, look around and see when you place an ATM, what is there for the ATM person to buy? What are their hours? Um, if you've got a store, now I'll give you another example. I put an ATM machine in a print shop, a 300 square foot print shop. I mean, printer, they, have, they print stuff. Now, first off, you're thinking, okay, they're gonna buy a little bit of printing. Why would you put an ATM in there? Well, I'm gonna tell you something, and I'll tell you why in a second. That ATM was making $4,000 a month in profit. But you're saying they're gonna spend $4,000 a month in fees on printing? No. The key was the next door neighbor was a, was a restaurant, a sandwich shop. The other side was another store. And there, this guy here is the only one smart enough to put the ATM in. Next to that was office buildings. And it was huge with a very mixed clientele. And so the print shop didn't matter. Four hours a day is when they use the ATM machine. They'd all come down there, eat lunch, line up for two ATMs in that little print shop. It was making a fortune. Now, saying that, sometime later the neighbors, both neighbors got a credit card machine. That machine now disappeared on volume and no one used it anymore. Today, again, today it probably does less than 50 transactions. So that's also a factor you'll look for is who's taking ATM cards and who is not. What is there to spend money on? Um, let's get a bit racial here. And I say this in the nicest way because I'm not politically correct by the way. Um, Korean, Vietnamese people do not use an ATM machine. They all walk up to your ATM and say, Hulk, where can I buy an ATM machine? You like my accent? Pretty good, isn't it? So, they're very smart when it comes to money. They will walk up to your ATM and ask you where they can buy one. They will not ask you if they could use it. So don't go place an ATM in Koreatown or Chinatown. You're not going to get it. Not unless your ATM fee is free and you just want to bring them in. Um, do not put an ATM where people are too rich. What neighborhoods do the best? Black and Mexican neighborhoods like Compton and places like that, downtown LA, do very well. 
the the lower income people love ATMs. I think a lot of it's got to do with, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a lot of it has to do more with um, the fact they don't really have the the car perhaps to go too far. They're maybe on a bicycle, maybe they walk to their local neighborhood store. So they're not going to go too far. They're not going to be like you and I uh, in a middle class neighborhood going to go to Costco. They're going to use their little liquor store to do all the grocery shopping. So they're going to need the money. They've got plenty to spend it on. Where else? Let's see. Um, obviously look to find where the nearest bank is. Don't put one next door to an ATM at the bank. Unless you're going to do a 99 cent surcharge. Then you've got a good chance of keeping your customers coming into you. So look at your area. Look around. Find out what people want, have got to spend the money on. Don't just think you've got a location because I put an ATM in a location that did 20, 30,000 people a day walking past it. But quite frankly, there was nothing there to spend the money on. I did an event where there was 100,000 people there at the event. But it was, a, it was an art event. They weren't there really to spend money on. They weren't gonna, they're not gonna pull out money from an ATM to buy art. You know, not art to have it's kind of an artistic, hippie kind of event in Laguna. Um, so therefore, we had the ATMs there just sitting there and there was a small place to buy a little few snacks but nothing to want to use an ATM for four bucks. So really look at the uh, locations before you put an ATM in. But then again, don't assume it'll do nothing just because it's a small location. Look around, what are their hours, what everyone else is doing. If there's a bar next door and you've got long hours, then you know maybe they'll come in to use your ATM. Anyway guys, Nigel Dix at Yahoo.com. I'll try and help you save money. I'll try and uh, give you, I'll always give you free service by phone. If you want to fix your ATM, you want advice, just call me up. 714-381-7109. Again, 23 of Veteran the ATM Business, offline to online mentor and coach. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Please like and share this video if you can. Make stupid comments. Um, I don't care. If you've got an opinion, let's argue about it. All right, thanks guys, bye.